everyone it's Doreen with Ooh La La Vintage Treasures and I am here with an Etsy share and I got me some ruffles you guys look at those aren't they fun oh my goodness so let's open these up and I'm gonna take them out so you can see what I got and let's start with the pink my favorite so these are avocado dyed with a beautiful stitching on the inside in the middle here and then the ruffles are just beautiful wow Irina these are really pretty fun life on a budget even pretty too actually the backside I like that too that looks really pretty so you could go with the front so this way or you could go with this way this way or this way cool huh so that's that one and then I got the craft one and this one here is really soft paper she said she uses recycled material so I love doing that and I don't sew I think I got two yards of this one so pretty I love it so pretty and then I got another one of the pink so I got two of those two of those as well and these are the book pages and you guys you can't really tell on her website or just like you know how pictures are sometimes sometimes seeing them on a video is much better so those are so fun I cannot wait to use these and then that's the back so you could use either side whichever way you want to go so I love how that looks okay and then I got these right here oh these are so pretty I love graph paper graph paper is so pretty to me and so some are lightly coffee dyed and so that's the front and then the back is lighter so you could use either way and there's that so pretty and look at the beautiful stitching the wonky stitching as I call it it looks so cool love that so these are the single pieces. I wanted to try both. I wanted to see if I really liked having them already done and I didn't have to cut them or if I like them in the strips. So I'm going to try out, you know, both styles. Oops, here's one more. I think you get 10. So you get 10 of those. Let's see. One. Whoops. Fumble fingers here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, you get twelve. Okay, cool. So I got twelve of those, and then I got two of these. They feel so cool in the hand too. I love it. Anything with paper, it's so awesome. And then these okay so let me set this aside and then she also sent let me just put this right here my desk is a mess you guys I had to cover it up I'm sorry you won't get to see all my mess you get to see a little bit in the background there so she sent it in this cute little packaging here something that you can look at and then inside she gave me some die cuts this one here really pretty lady and here's our little note thank you so much for supporting my little store please don't forget to write a review Irina fun life on a budget she didn't put her name but I know that's her this is really pretty I like these little small pieces you could use these in so many ways on snippets and different things so this is like a vanilla color vanilla colored um, embossed paper and then here's a craft style doily so pretty and then three pieces of colored paper I'm not sure whose paper this is 
but it's three different papers. So that's really fun. So thank you, Irina, for this beautiful little package. Oh, and there's there's some more stuff you could collage with this too. That'd be a nice collage little booklet. And then I have another lady to share with you. Let me grab it. Oh, I forgot to show you this. Let me show you this first. So here is a little sampler pack of goodies. And I was eyeing these on her site. I thought they were so cute. Look at these little tiny pieces. Oh my goodness. This measures about two inches. <laughs> so cute. And these are less than an inch. <laughs> Look at these little bows. How cute. So she included some little bows and little fun paper stuff that we like to play with in our crafting. Uh, a ticket coffee dyed and then some other colorful little beads and cute bows. Those are really cute. I like the little white sparkly bows. Those are adorbs. So cute. I'm going to put this back in here or I'm going to lose these little things. Okay. All right. And then I got a package from Susie at Creative Cafe Girl. Little pouch she made. So I had to cut the top, which sad face, I had to cut it, but I think I'm going to glue it, turn it around this way, take the sticker off, which I love this sticker, but take the sticker off and make, oh, I'm ripping it. It's okay. And make pockets here. So I'll glue all this down and I'll, I'll glue this down and I'll make a pocket this way. And then it'll look really cool anyway, because it's three layers. So yeah, I like how that came out. Or I could do it this way, but I like the stitching actually. It looks cool that way too, because she stitched it, the packaging on both sides there. So I was thinking I could just cut the top right here nicely. And then this, you got a pocket here and then a pocket here, and then you'll have a pocket inside. So let me show you what I mean. If you just snip it just a little bit. It's going to be a little bit crooked because I, I am terrible at cutting straight. Okay, so there you go. Now you have a stitch piece here, a stitch piece here, and then you have this. So I can glue it all down and make it into a pocket. And this cute little booklet can sit inside of a journal or something and tuck it in this way like that. You know we always look at packaging in a different way, right? Anyway, <laughs> I just love that. And I love this little sticker. It's so cute. I want to keep that and reuse it. So it was uh, four booklets here. This is the little girl. And I love that she's in the vintage tones, all neutrals. And she's got the little puffy muff right there. A little fluffy little, what do you call those? Muff things? I think it's called a muff. And... um just a cute little picture and then she just stitched it and then she just added cute little pieces of paper I think this is a cute little idea for gifts for a gift tag or something and you can add them to presents and things like that so and then alter them for Christmas so fun so there's that one and then there's this one with this image I love that one with the mom and the little girl and the doll the tree in the background there and then there's this one, two little girls, so pretty. Has a little bit of pink and green there, so you have a little color there. And then this is a little boy. Yeah, so they're all the same. They just have different papers, all randomly, you know, placed inside the booklet. But I just love them. I think they're so cute. and. Um, I want to get to playing, you guys, so stay tuned, and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, bye, everyone. Okay, the next thing I have to share with you is Denise out of Tattered Dreams. I purchased these several weeks ago. This is probably um, a bigger haul than I expected, but I just kept forgetting to film. So anyway, I got this avocado pack here, and I'm going to take it out. I opened it 
to so I wouldn't have to rattle paper too much but I opened it and kind of took a peek and oh my goodness you guys look at all these pretty laces look at that isn't that gorgeous okay so I'll go one by one so these are I think anywhere from a half a yard to a yard but I'm pretty sure they're all a half a yard so I don't know if you can get the detail on it but this is super super pretty let's see let me put it up against this white bag let me go this way so there's the first one and it's a really pretty pale pink okay and then this one I guess I'm gonna rattle anyway, you guys. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. And there's this one. Now some of these come are, some of these colors are more of a peach color or almost a nude pink. Those are really pretty though. And then there's this one. And this one here. Making sure I get it on the right side. Okay, here. There's that one. There's this one. This one is really pale. It's amazing how avocado dyed comes out. Okay, and let's see. There's this one. That's pretty. And this one. I think this one's my favorite right here. This one here has got a really soft blush pink color. And there's this one. This one, let's see, there's this one, this is a really um, tiny one, pretty, and oh, look at this one. This has got a nice texture to it. And there's this one. She has them folded up so nice. Almost looks like she ironed them too. They're very um, starched feeling a little. And this one. And this big one here. This one is actually really soft, very soft, beautiful. And then also there's three rosettes. Love these things. I just did some in, of these in tea dyed. That's so funny how we think. And then here's what they look like. Yummers. All the pretty laces. And then she put them, them on this pretty backing card. With roses really pretty okay we'll put that aside and let's see put this back up here okay so this is the bag isn't that gorgeous look at how she did the avocado dyed bag oh I love that Denise. and then this was the paper pack so it has one of these coffee filters, cone coffee filter. I haven't played with one of those yet, so that's cool. And one of these, a library card, and a pocket. These cute envelopes, oh my goodness, those are so cute. They're so tiny. I love those, and mini CD holder. And then a guest check. 
doilies. We love some doilies. There's this one, two of those, this one, the square one, another one of my favorites. I love these squares. And then this one. Okay, and then she added, oh, this gorgeous, look at how pretty this envelope is. Ooh, yummy. One of those crunchy ones. Love it. These have a nice texture to them. And then you have the little mini glassine. They're two different. Nope. They're well, they're almost the same size. One's a little bit taller than the other one. There's two of those. And then here's the big ones. Or bigger ones. Love those. And these. This is one and this is another one. Nice variety. Love it. All these bags and stuff. And then she did this um ledger. It's green and avocado dyed. It's more avocado on this side. I love that. An index card. This is a large index card. And one of the tags. And another glassine bag. Yes! Love the crunch. And a large doily. This one here. A large doily. And a weekly time record. I don't have one of these either, I don't think. This is new. I haven't seen this one. And what's this? Accounts receivable ledger. That's really cool too. That's the back. It's double sided. That's really cool. Another doily. This is huge. Wow. This is a big one. It's like a 10 inch doily there. Fun. And look at these tickets. Avocado dyed tickets. And then paper. Let's see. I probably messed up the paper because I took it out. But anyway, this is the papers. It's folded in half, of course. Eight and a half by 11. I want to make some clusters with these. So pretty. Yes. Love it. Look at the back. Oh, look at that coloring. So pretty. And the papers feel so nice. Okay, and then this lace here. So pretty. So many pretty laces and avocado colors. Okay, so let me put all this back. Keeping everything in the bag. So I don't lose my avocado stuff. I love it. All right. So we got the laces there. I still have more to share with you guys. All right. So this right here, I thought these were so adorable. Denise made these and she put this cute little, I hate to take this off the top. Hmm. Let me see if I can cut the bottom of the bag here. I'll just cut it there. All right. Look at how cute those are. I love this card that she put it on, this piece of ephemera. But look at the paper clips, aren't they so cute? She layered two of the butterfly on top of each other with really cute um, trim tucked in. So it's really wispy looking. So cute. Okay. There's that one. And let me open this one too. 
This is her tassel, you guys. If you guys watch Denise's channel, she's always doing these gorgeous tassels. Okay, so here's her presentation here. She has it on this beautiful card. It's really pretty roses. Gorgeous paper. It's only one-sided, so I'm not sure who ha whose paper this is, but it's beautiful. Okay, and let's take this off. She has it clipped onto a clip over here. If my fingers are work, I can't get my fingers to work here. Oh, there we go. That's a cool idea. Look what she did. She put wire there so she could hang her tassel right there. I like that. Okay. So here's her her um, tassel. Oh, is it so cute? Look, she's got all these different dangle bits in here. Sari silk and lace and pearls and pretty soft. Look at this tiny little trim right here. And some fuzzy trim. And some pearls, satin, and this yummy stuff here. And then it's tied in a sari silk bow with a gold pin. And here's a cute little dangle bead. So that's the charm. So cute. I have to put that on a project. I really like that. That's so pretty. Okay, we'll just put that right there. And then let's see what this is. Oh yeah, I got some of this trim, you guys. I had some of this and I used it up. This beautiful pink stuff. And I got a couple yards of that. And then I got these sweet square doilies. I think she still has these on her website on the Etsy shop. These cool doilies here. Those pretty. I have a project in mind for those. Okay, these will go back in the bag later. And I have another bag over here. Okay, I showed you guys everything but this bag, and I believe this is a thank you bag here. Look at this gorgeous tag. It says, thank you. That is cute. I like that tag. So cute. Okay, I'm going to cut this one too. On the bottom. Made sure I uh, didn't cut anything there. What did you do, Denise? You added some more stuff here. Look at that. Some more lace. Another rosette. I never get enough of those. And a cute little image. Oh, I love that image. It's so beautiful. The roses. Oh my goodness. These roses remind me of when I grew up. My dad used to grow these roses when I was little. So pretty. And look at this gorgeous tag. Woohoo. I like that embossed piece there. That is beautiful. And then one of these, this is on a file folder, I think, material or cardstock. And then two more doilies. So cute. And some pearls. And a wooden heart. Super fun. Okay, so that is it for Denise at a Tattered Dream. Um, thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel and I will be back very soon. I have some more things to share with you guys and some information and some news. I got some news to share. So stay tuned and I'll be back very soon. Bye bye.